Hey everyone, I'm Darshan Santhal and Happy New Year to you all. It's a new it's 2014 and it's been much anticipated after a lot of things went on in 2013 and I hope the new year brings prosperity and good luck to all of you uh, and I hope you make a good some good new year resolutions as well and hopefully follow them as well cuz <laughs> making them is easy following them is not as I know pretty well. Okay, so without any ado let's keep further ado let's get on to the video now so this video is just going is going to cover a concept called decoy attacks so now decoy attacks are a part, this video is going to be a part of another of a large sort of group not a series per se but just a sort of group of videos where i talk about these miscellaneous concepts and sort of tricks that you can use to turn ga turn games in your favor and if your other your tactics like skewers and pins etc were like are like your pieces of wood then this is sort of like wooden swords where you put them together and do something with it so you're just going to put these other concepts to use in a sort of shrewd way that gains you <coughs> gains you a lot of momentum and gains you in a good position in the game so that's how this would work this then this is this is so let's talk about decoy attacks right now so how a decoy works is as the name implies it's just like in Tom and Jerry where i i'm not sure if you watch Tom and Jerry or not but there's usually always a piece of cheese in the cheese trap and then the moment Jerry tries to get the cheese trap the mouse trap sort of rings in sort of comes in so that's the same idea of how as how this works you tempt the king to a square that he would usually not move to voluntarily and but you sort of tempt him and or force him to and eventually he has to go there and then you take advantage of it you usually force the, uh, him to go there through sacrifice and now let's let me just show you an example real quick in this position black has obviously got an advantage here but the only thing defending this rook from white's king here is actually his black king and the last thing that black would do here is move his king away from this rook to some place where it can't defend it and that would just be like suicide he is giving away his rook for absolutely no reason so that's the last thing he would want to do here so we're just going to make him do just that using our decoy <coughs> our decoy attack and that decoy attack right here is going to be bishop to b6 check now notice here that he cannot actually notice here that we're trying to force him to move away from the square because if he moves here then we can simply capture over here but no also notice that if he were to even if he were to come down here which is one of his best moves then we can actually still capture the rook with our bishop over here sorry that's not a very good move is it sorry my mistake so this is a skewer as well so now we can already see where these concepts are sort of coming together so now his best move for sure this time is simply to capture the bishop and we will take the rook and now you just see how we've used a decoy attack to gain a bit of material here you're sort of making your king move to quoting kevin from the chess website.com a poison square and you're taking advantage of the fact that he moved there so now let me just show you another example here real quick okay so now in this position here just notice that White's queen wants an exchange with Black's queen here, so that's why I believe he got his queen. That's the thing that's being presented here. There's an exchange going on here, and White's queen is challenging Black's queen here, and vice versa. And actually, the exchange would be pretty good for White because this queen here is really annoying him on c2 because it's got a very strong position there. Now here, you're just gonna have to. <coughs> Now exchange would be good for black as well cuz then the king side looks really empty but you're going to get something even better now use the decoy and find some find a way to get a big advantage for black here I'll give you a minute pause the video if you have to but I'm just going to go on now so the best now what's the the decoy idea of a decoy is to move the defender the mostly the defender away from what he's defending using a decoy attack so the best move for that is actually rook to h2. Now that what that what makes this the most effective move? There's also another move here that would work. That's bishop to h3. But the reason that's not so effective is because he could simply move his king up to g3 and there's no harm done. 
he doesn't even have he's not obliged to capture the bishop in any way and he can just move here and he's still defending the queen and it's still always going always going well so what makes the rook what makes rook touch 2 so special is that it's a skewer at the same time so while you're attacking the king it's an x-ray attack on the queen at the same time so if the king even if he moved up to g3 right now to try and defend his queen you could still there's still two attackers now the queen here and the rook here so you could still capture you could still capture the queen just with no harm done so now the rook now so the best move for him is to actually just capture the rook here and as a result he's moved the king has moved away from the queen and she's lost her last defender and now we can simply move in and gobble up the queen and we've gained a huge material advantage here we've just got a queen for a rook which is really good in chess turn in <coughs> the game so now let's move on to another example over here okay so in this problem it's white to play and win in two moves use a decoy and win find the variation so the move the variation now just first think about what you want him to do in a decoy the first step to sort of unraveling it is to think what you want what your opponent would be least likely to do what you would love for him to do but what he knows that he will not want to do so what black what black would not want to do here at all is to move his bishop back to h7 here because if he were to do that then we would simply be able to march in here with our rook and it would be checkmate back rank weakness so now that we now that we know that he does not want to move his bishop here, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna make him do just that with the with queen to h7 check. So this is a daring sacrifice by White, sacrificing a queen for just a for nothing actually. And notice that he White has Black has no other option really. If he moves to f8, we would simply be able to move our queen to h8, and that's checkmate as well. So. <coughs> So after queen to h7 and bishop takes, this is only this is best option actually to go down with some dignity. Then rook to e8 is again checkmate because of back rank weakness. And that again shows you how you use a decoy to move you to sort of force this bishop to move here to this poison square or a square where he would you're sort of tempting him or forcing him to move to the square that you, he would not want to move to and would not have if he had been given the choice and yep so you're using that to your advantage and actually checkmating him here so this is one final example I want to show you today before we conclude the video so let's go okay so in this problem it's white to play and win in two moves use a decoy and win find the variation so the move, the variation, now just first think about what you want him to do. In a decoy, the first step to sort of unraveling it is to think what you want, what your opponent would be least likely to do, what you would love for him to do, but what he knows that he will not want to do. So what black, what black would not want to do here at all is to move his bishop back to h7 here, because if he were to do that, then we would simply be able to march in here with our rook and it would be checkmate back rank weakness so now that we now that we know that he does not want to move his bishop here we're going to do just that we're going to make him do just that with the with queen to h7 check so this is a daring sacrifice by white sacrificing a queen for just a for nothing actually and notice that he white has black has no other option really if he moves to f8 we would simply be able to move our queen to h8 and that's checkmate as well so <coughs> so after queen to h7 and bishop takes this is only this is best option actually to go down with some dignity then rook to e8 is again checkmate because of back rank weakness and that again shows you how you use a decoy to move you to sort of force this bishop to move here to this poison square or a square where he would you're sort of tempting him or forcing him to move to the square that you he would not want to move to and would not have if he had been given the choice and yep so you're using that to your advantage and actually checkmating him here so this is one final example I want to show you today before we conclude the video so let's go